September 4, 1957, in Little Rock, Arkansas, the first major fight over racial integration of America's schools. Arkansas Governor Orville Faubus orders the state's National Guard to block nine black students from entering the all-white Central High School. Weeks later, hundreds of U.S. Army paratroopers escort the students into the school under an order from President Dwight Eisenhower. Also, that same year... This is the Edsel, unlike any other car you've ever seen. This is the Edsel. Ford's new model, the Edsel, makes its ill-fated debut in auto showrooms across the United States. It's a massive flop with the car shopping public, becoming a lasting symbol of corporate failure. 1781. In present-day California, Spanish settlers found Los Angeles, now the second largest city in the United States. 1888. George Eastman gets a patent for his roll film camera and registers his trademark, Kodak. 1995. In New York, attorney William Kunstler, who spoke up for the politically unpopular, dies of cancer at the age of 76. During his career, Kunstler represented clients from anti-Vietnam War radicals to suspects in the first World Trade Center bombing. 1972, American swimmer Mark Spitz wins a record seventh gold medal during a single Olympics at the Summer Games in Munich in what's then West Germany. 2006, Steve Irwin, better known as television's beloved crocodile hunter, dies after a stingray's barb pierced his heart while diving on the Great Barrier Reef. Irwin was 44. And in 1981, singer and actress Beyonce Knowles is born in Houston. Today in History, September 4th, Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.